Hey, what's up everyone? So in this video, we're gonna find um, two vectors in opposite directions that are orthogonal to both, of, to both of these vectors. So first we'll do this one. So we need a vector that is orthogonal to this. So it, when we dot it with this, we have to get zero. So solution. So we'll start by writing this down. So six, uh, negative four, nine. And then we have to put something here so that when we take the dot product, the result is zero. So I'm thinking maybe get rid of the six. We can do that by putting a zero here. Because recall, when you multiply six times zero, um, you get zero. So now we need to make these go away. So I'm thinking that this might work. So nine and four. And the reason is, well, you'll see. So we do six times zero. So six times zero, which is just zero, but I'll write it. Plus, and then watch this, negative four times nine, which is negative 36, but I'll write it. Okay, and then here's the key, plus nine times four. So they're opposites. The re it results in like an opposite product, right? Negative four times nine is negative 36. Nine times four is 36. This will be zero minus 36 plus 36. And that's equal to zero plus zero, which is zero. So they're orthogonal. So this is a vector that is orthogonal to this one. Now it said find two vectors in opposite directions, right? So that's one answer. The other answer, you just put a negative sign in front of it. So it'd be negative zero, which is just zero negative nine, negative four. So this is in the opposite direction of this one. And they should both be orthogonal, you could check. So again, recap, you want a vector that when you dot it with this, you get zero. So um, I just got rid of the six and I saw the negative sign and I saw it as an opportunity to, to get rid of stuff. So I put a, a nine here and a four here because then this would give you negative 36. This gives you 36 and it goes away. Let's try this one. I haven't done this either. I just made these up. So we have two, three, negative six. I think we could do the same thing here. So we have two, three, negative six. Okay, so now let's see. Uh, oh, 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 oh. So we need a vector here so that when you dot it, it goes away. So let's put a zero here again to get rid of the two. And then we have three, negative six here. So I'm just gonna put a, a negative six here and I think a three here, I think that will work. Um, because that'll give us negative 18. Oh, uh, no, no, no. They need, both need to be positive. There we go. 18, negative 18. Yep, that's it. Good stuff. So two times zero. Yeah, I hadn't done this problem. Uh, I just figured I should probably do it because this is kind of a weird problem. Um, people get stuck on this all the time. Like, how do you do it? Um, you just kind of have to think, right? So three times six is 18. Negative six times three is negative 18. So all of this is gonna go away and um, you are going to get zero. So that's it. I hope this video uh, has been helpful. Until later, my dudes and dudettes.